government at yung iba, their lives. So, every time na mabasa ko yung briefer, I say a general prayer, but uh, I, makita mo na mayat ako, I kind of uh, grappling with the loss of lives. Pero sa bagay, lahat naman tayo mamamatay. There's always a time. But uh, masakit lang sa akin kasi wala namang presidente gustong may magpatayan sa kapwa niya Pilipino. I mean, it's not going to win the war if possible against your own people. But uh, we are forced to by circumstances. At ako naman, by constitutional mandate, I have to do it. Otherwise, I would not only be a failure as a president, could even go to jail. What does not doing my constitutional mandates? So, you have my, the pinakailalim sa puso ko yung paghinakit ko sa mga panahong ito. But, uh, wala akong magawa eh. And uh, it would appear now that I am the second president of this republic to declare a martial law. Sino ba naman yung gusto ng ganun? And I want to end it as soon as possible. But I must be assured also na uh, the Filipino people, the nation, is safe. Ganito yan eh. That even the martial law powers dito sa papel, papel lang naman niya, sa totoo lang. It's, not, it's nothing compared with the fighting and the dying there out uh, where there is trouble. But in our, lahat pari-pariho tayo ng oath of office. Eh. We swear to God, to Allah, and uh, to the people that we will protect and defend the Filipino nation. That's the long and short to it. Wala, baliwala yung konstitusyon kung talagang magkagira-gira. Eh, kita mo yung ibang mga not to, not to criticize them, but uh, just saying a few words. This is a democracy. Karami ko nang sundalong patay pati police at mga sinasabi pa nila na hindi pa bagay magmarsyalo just for the sake of being on the other side. Uh, and as a lawyer, you, know, you have enough gray matter between your ears. Does it call the brain? Uh, the problem is they are not using it. And, uh, well, sa ibang araw na lang. I have criticized them for lahat yung mga restraining order, mga project ng gobyerno na hindi natatapos on time because of uh, judicial interference. That's not really uh, what you would call part of their duties. But anyway, uh, the majority of the justices sustained me at hindi naman ako mandeclare ng martial law kung talagang hindi pwede, ikaabogado ko. And uh, we won by an overwhelming mandate. I uh, thought it was uh, only one. Ang lahat pumayag, but other, ang iba naman gusto nang, nang marawi. Eh, paano yung spillover? So you have to really use, and that's, that's the reason why you have the, the chief of staff and you have the defense secretary. But in fairness to these guys, nung nasa Moscow kami, when I was uh, informed that critical. Maniwala ka ito hindi. Walang, walang military makasabi sa presidente, mag-declare ka ng Marcelo. No military would ever do that. One, it's not, it's out of order. Second, uh, respeto. Because yung the use of word Marcelo, mabigat yan eh. Gera talaga yan. So I, I, I would tell you now, frankly, nobody, but sabi nila, Sir, the situation is critical. So I was with uh, General Anyo, 
John Lorenzana. Uh, I know him before when I was mayor 23 years ago. He brought the Scout Rangers 2nd Regiment to Davao City. I was then the mayor. That's why we know him. I know him. Kami puro yung, ano ko, yung along the way na mayor ako nang for many years, so, nakilala ko sila. So sila ang nagsabi, the situation is critical. Sabi ko, are there civilians killed? Yes. Uh, are the civilians uh, part of the fighting for those innocent? Sir, mga bata ba? So what is, might, might be critical to the other idiots of this planet is critical to me. Kasi na namamatay na yung mga tao. So I had to clear martial law. To save lives. And to save the Filipino nature. Yun ang... Now, in doing so, I have to declare martial law and you have to fight the war. Uh, mabuti lang kung magpirma. Magkasali ka doon sa away. Ibang istorya yan. It's not easy to do that. But you are called upon to contribute your share of nation building. And sumasaludo talaga ako sa inyo. Huwag uh, kayong, uh, ano, uh, you will not be the last in this uh, government of mine. Lahat ng mga, mga equipments ninyo, lahat ng kailangan ninyo, kaagad-agad yan, bago. I bought you costing about billions of uh, itong mga hospital equipments. Uh, more than once, and I have ordered specifically government that my presidential plane or planes gagamitin to ferry the wounded soldiers to Manila, especially those needing immediate uh, and urgent medical attention, which cannot be done in the provinces. I bought you a barrack high-pressure thing, uh, lalo na kung wounded ka, hindi naman masyado, for three days, you are not extricated, and there is gangrene. Kung maipasok ko lang doon sa makina na yun, it can arrest the infection mahabol instead of ma um, so these things that you need, binili ko na lahat yan. And uh, I am sorry to inform you that uh, I was only about two months president. I visited the AFP hospital. Napakamaraming ko lang. And would you believe it, itong gobyerno na to, aywan ko noon pa to. Na ikakabiding lang kaya sinabi ko kay Ubial, no? Do it in 60 days. Or do it this month. Kung hindi dyan yung palitan niyang procedure, kayo ang palitan ko. Si Secretary Obiel mismo. I can't, don't, don't give me that shit about uh, bidding process. Ano. E kung wala naman magnanakaw dyan sa masali, at bakit uh, patagalin nyo ng gano'n? Kabi ko, change the procedure or I will change you. Talangan mo lang natin. What I can guarantee you guys, pakamatay kayo sa bayan ninyo, hindi kayo lugi. Walang corruption dito. At lahat na dapat sa inyo, mapupunta sa inyo. Lahat ng mga baril, lahat ng mga ano, sabi ko kay Defense Secretary, bago. Hindi na ako tatanggap ng helicopter baske kanino, gema, Amerika, o I will not accept second hand. Magbili tayo ng atin. Kung hindi natin kaya, di, magbili lang tayo ng, ng lima muna. Anim. But uh, ako, gusto ko yung Air Force. There are 12 uh, if uh, 50As there. Mak mak makalabas ako siguro maging mga 24 yan. Uh, we don't have to be cre credible Air Force uh, in our poor country. Pero sa inyo, walang problema. And... Uh, May sabihin ako sa inyo, hindi ako nagpapalakas ng uh, atay ko sa inyo. I, 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 I do not need uh, personal loyalties. That's the list of my worries. Pareho lang tayo. You are as important as me in this government. My life is, your life is not less important than mine. 
Uh, Ato nga, presidente lang ba't ito? Uh, eh, kung presidente nga, what? What do you contribute to your country? Sometimes, uh, you should die also. So, ang inyong makuha dito sa gobyerno na to would be one of the best. That will be the best years of your uh, uh, kasi naabot rin ninyo. Basta kaya naman sa Davao, I do not allow any policeman or military man going to jail for doing their duty. Yan ang maasahan ninyo. Ngayon, sige lang, demanda lang kayo. Sabi na, uh, salvage, oh, no, fine, go ahead. File the charges. I, I, I never really interfered. When they said that it was murder, fine. Because there will always be a time na it would be my call. Lahat ng pumasok sa gobyerno at nagtrabaho at sinunod yung utos at kung legal naman, bakit ko papayag ang ikukulong? Bakit yung mga polis, minsan ganun talaga ang style dyan, oh, I will never allow a policeman to go to jail for doing his duty on my orders. Itong Marcelo, anything that happens here, the consequences, good or bad, it is my responsibility. I and I alone. Akin yan. Kaya sige lang sila dyan. May demokrasya to yan. But they will come at time, demanda mo, hearing kayo, tapos may judgment. Oh. Pagkatapos, akin na. Bakit kayo makaproblema? May pardo naman. Hindi oh, pagkatapos ang sentensyado. Hindi ka dito. Bigay mo sa huwis yan. Restored to full political and civil rights. And a promotion to both. Wala nang diretso. Ngayon, kung yung mga abuso na, na eh, hindi naman ko sa alis trabaho yan. Pero magprangkahan tayo dito kasi puro batikos na kaninyong mga police army. Wala akong army na umaabuso. Ang utos ko sa army, pumatay. Kung tignan ninyo abuso yan, problema ninyo yan. Because I have to save a country. So that's my guarantee to you. Tsaka bigyan ko kayo ng baril lahat. Kasi, hapo na. Kayo kasi palutaw-lutaw. I've been mayor for, you know, my father was governor of Tabao. Isa lang ang probinsya noon. I'm quite familiar with the military and uh, ijago yung tatay ko. And itong mga polis. Eh, maglabas kayo ng kampo pag naka... Uh, lutay-lutay lang dyan, maglakad. But would you think that you do not have a gun, then uh, dapat walang inkwentro. Eh, itong mga, unahin ko itong mga NPA, hindi ko talaga maintindihan ng utak niyan. Gusto, ayaw, gusto, ayaw. Gusto magipag-usap. Gusto sumali sa atin, makipag-away. Kaya hindi ako pumayag. Kaya baka lang mga sundala ko ang tama sa likod lahat. Nandiyan kayo, hindi ako sigurado. Eh ngayon, gusto na makipag-away. So, uh, our focus now, dito sa Marawi, is distracted. Parang may lamok na sige. Eh, Nakasahit ka na dyan. Magpasok dyan sa tainga mo. Ayan yan ang NPA. Yung malaman, gusto makikaibigan, gustong to. We, we talk then. Uh, Sabi ko, mabuti pa doon. Isa na lang ang kalaban namin. Lahat. But uh, in the fullness of God's time, this will be over. And there will also be changes. We will not forget our brother uh, Moro. We will rebuild uh, Marawi. Pilipino yan. Eh. Problema lang napasukan tayo dito ng dalawang reliyon. But that is not really the issue. But it has been the moving factor dito sa gulo. Wala ba yung maano sa akin because ang Sabi ko nga sa, my grandmother is in Maranao. 
ang nanay ko ang mistis sa Maranao, ang lolo ko Chinese, but my father is is Cebuan. Wala wala akong ano, I do not have that kind of bigotry na ah uh, kung pero ako basta tayo, the republic must be able to survive, and we must remain strong. I will assure you that you will be strong, and I will protect and defend you. Yan ang maasahan ninyo. And you will have the best of everything in terms of equipment at lahat. And you would be comfortable. Yan lang ang maiwan ko sa inyo. Maraming salamat sa contribution ninyo and for your co our comrades in arms. We just uh, say to God that uh, may you bless them and ask God to bless us all this afternoon because we have a task to do. Thank you, Mr. President. May we request the President for a photo opportunity with the men and women of the 403rd Brigade in two batches. The first batch will be the Brigade Commander and the officers. the directors? Thank you. The next batch will be the men and women of 43rd Brigade. Second post will be the sign of P feast sign. Thank you, Mr. President, for taking your pressure time with us. We really appreciate your presence this afternoon. A big round of applause for the President. 
Once again, dagang salamat sa among pinangga nga presidente. Mabuhay po kayo, Presidente Duterte. I, I, I kind of maybe spare you something like wala na ang riloko, binigay ko sundalo. So, I can uh, mga five hours. Magandang apod po, Mr. President. Yes. Ang uh, tanong ko, maraming mga proyekto na papasok sa mga barangay Uh, lalo lalo na dito sa uh, probinsya ng Bukidon. Pero mayroong 10% na tinatawag na revolutionary tax na kinukuha yung mga New People's Army kod NPA. Uh, pag hindi magbigay yung contractor at saka barangay official, sinusunog yung proyekto na sa barangay. Mayroon bang, sol ano bang solusyon ng pamalaan ito? Yeah, ang solusyon na sa Pilipino, kayo. Kayo, hindi na mo. Gusto ang gusto magdala ng gobyerno, that is really extortion. That is uh, just uh, a, a matter of semantics. Call it uh, uh, revolutionary tax. But actually, it's extortion. And, uh, kaya nga may away tayo. Ang kaya nga, hindi nga may papayag, I refuse now to resume the talks with them until they stop. itong extorsyon. Kasi sa sabihin ng tao, babayad sila ng boys, wala namang proteksyon kasi hinihingian sila ng NPA. So, the only way is to, I, I do not want to continue the fight. It has been there for 50 years. I'm, I'm supposed that everybody start killing people for 50 years, but if they want it another 50 years, Wala kaming, wala ang gobyerno walang magawa. It's plain extortion. And if you want to, to, to continue to resume the talks, one of the things that I would demand would really be that they stop the extortion activities. Mr. President, uh, are we pushing through with the extension po of martial law? Malapit na po kasi matapos yung 60 days. Ganito yan eh. Uh, martial law was declared uh, for the Mindanao Island. Because that is an anticipation of a spillover. I said, I have nothing against, uh, I'm a, I, have a, I have a Maranao blood. But yun, in Central Mindanao, nandyan yung uh, uh, Lanao del Sur, Lanao del Norte, then you go left, that you have the, the, the Sambuanga Peninsula, na marami, pati you go right, nandito yung uh, Maguindanao, nandyan yung uh, Buldon, nandyan, nandyan sila. And so the spillover could create more trouble for us. That's why in anticipation or to prevent or, or to prepare for a spillover or a simultaneous uh, uprising, it has to be Mindanao. Mr. President, may nga pun kanimo, mm. Mel Veles, uh, CNN Philippines, Bukidon News Stringer. As we know, Metro Manila and Neben Cebu have gone too far no? in as far the economic growth. Uh, also, to pagbaglan tao, uh, Mr. President, as far sa ato sa Mindanao. You know, Mindanao relata relatively is a, a just a, a new country. Bago lang itong Mindanao eh. Cebu has been there. Ang architect ganit nila dia sa ilang city hall ba? Sipag si Magellan. Matagal na yung Cebu eh. That's an old city. You can't compare it to Mindanao. M uh, Mindanao is a front frontier. Kaya nga itong may gera because uh, ang more of... Uh, feels displaced. Na sila yung nauna dito, which is really correct. Uh, historically, they were ahead ng Islam by almost uh, 60 to 70 years. Islam was already in Mindanao. Kaya yung pumasok dito na mga Cebuano, or just, but hindi naman natin alam na ganun ang sitwasyon. Ano do not have to die for that. That is not uh, anybody's fault. That was the creation of imperialism, which had we had been here uh, at that time, would not have happened. Because we would never agree to it. 
But you know, Islam ang Mindanao, tapos the rest of the country was converted to Christianity. It was also blanjoned into submission. Pahabala po, Mr. President. May quake daw po earlier sa Visayas. What are we doing? Uh, uh, what is the government doing about that, sir? May, um, may help na po ba para sa mga residente? May quake po earlier sa Visayas. Earth, earthquake po. 6.5, yes po. Bago lang po. Very recent lang po. Wala namang nasira. Mahina yun. By that time, it could have caused massive destruction, but there's none. And actually, uh, to be really very, very frank with you, nobody but nobody can foretell a disaster. That's why in the insurance business, disasters call, are called or categorized uh, an act of God. This for, for, for want of any other term to use it, a massive destruction, typhoons and earthquakes, ang kategory niyan sa, kami mga abogado, we call it an act of God. So ang God na nito ang ating abulin, kaya mo. Ha? Pisa natin yung mga pare. May mensahe na po ba kayo sa mga nanonood na ngayon from late po affected by the quake? Yun lang po, last question. Again ma? May message po ba kayo ngayon sa mga affected po ng quake doon sa Visaya? So maybe they're watching po live right now. Well, uh, we are doing everything. We, you know, the, kind of the military is uh, doing its utmost. I am here uh, for the time being that there's a Irocos in central Mindanao. I'd be sp spending most of my time here. I'll just fly to Manila once in a while to fulfill with the protocol duties. But I have to be back again until such time that uh, peace is uh, restored. But uh, uh, we are already almost uh, more than halfway. Matatapos na to. Sir, good afternoon. Victoria Tulad of GMA po sa Manila. Sir, there's an article po sa Reuters na sinabi na you pushed for talks with the Mauti group? No, I didn't. That. No, that's, uh, that he's a pretender. I, I'd never talk to terrorists, that's one. I will never talk to criminals and to terrorists. But I would talk to revolutionaries who are uh, imbued with a principle of their... Kagaya nitong uh, MIMN. I talk to them because ang, what drove them to fight government is the rising nationalism. Kasi nauna nga sila dito, dumating yung Amerikano, nauna na pa ng Espanyol, then we were colonized. Kaya ka nagkawatak-watak tayo na ganito, uh, Islam na nga ang Mindanao, at ano ba namang kasalanan natin pumasok itong mga Espanyol, pati Amerikano. So that is how, that's how it began. But we are here to preserve and ask, and I plead to the Moro people, who are my brothers, who are our brothers. We do not want to fight, we do not want to kill. And if we can just uh, stop fighting, okay ako. But for those criminals, mga terrorists na hala. Sir, pero yung Mauti Group, did they come to you? Uh, Nag-initiate po ba sila ng deal para matapos na po yung gulo sa Marawi? Thank you. Well, uh, well the MIM and MIM probably have uh, started uh, in, uh, initiatives there. But kung magaling sa akin ako maghingi sa mga kriminal, pati terorista, yeah, possibly. Tsaka marami na akong patay na sundalo, pati polis. Huwag nila akong biruin ng magistorya-istorya lang tayo. If there has to be peace, it would really be peace. Wag mo akong laruin yung away ngayon, tapos bukas. Let us finish this once and for all. Tara kami? Kay, yung wala ba, magsakay ka lang sa chapter. Doon ko na lang magtanong. I want my 
sa pagbabago Sawa na ang bayan ko sa magnanakaw na tao Madilim na kahapon Ikaw ang mag-aamon Piling mo, di ko mawawala ang korupsyon. Tayo na, Pilipinas, tayo na magbago. Hawat kamay tayo. Dapat nang mapigilan 